Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to go over how to slide your notes and within sliding your notes this method is used a lot within tectonic music as well as electro. Um, if you hear the standard you know, swish sound or the zippery effects that you hear in Benny Benassi sounds or other electro house music, this is obviously what I'm talking about. Now, when you play simple notes or if you play melodies in FL Studio, for example, over here, if I scroll down, so this is a project that I've already had opened. If I scroll down, you can see that I have Wasp over here. So if you're using instruments such as Wasp or 3X Oscillator or some of the other FL, uh, basically default instruments, you'll be able to take advantage of this. Um, so over here, I have a preset, so it says uh, Pilcher Plux Synth, as well as I've modified it a bit more to get my desired effect. Now, if I come over here, and I play what it sounds like, it would sound like this. Now, so basically, right there we have a single note. Now if I play that note, so over here I'll go to pattern mode, and if I play this note, you just hear one basic note basically. So you're just hearing one note. Now, over here I have a C note, and then over here I have it on a higher octave. If I want to make it have a smooth transition and basically slide to the next note, all you have to do is come over up here and click slide. So you see I have, I, I have the, the piano roll open. Up here when you click slide, you, it's the same as pacing a note, but instead um, it pastes basically a slide note. So you have a note here, and then within this frame it will slide up to the uh, up an octave and then play this note so it would sound like this but basically you gotta play around with it because if I play if I make the note a bit longer and if I make this much longer the time for the slide will basically take a really long time so I've played it, it'll sound like this but basically a lot of people don't like that they like having uh, a quick slide and then going to a new note. So basically, like, if we make a melody, I can make it like this. So we'll have one C note over here, bring it up an octave, come up, come up again, and then you can make it slide back down. So you can see how you can use. Um, the slide feature to give you that desired effect. Now, good thing is you can play around with it a lot. Um, after doing that, you can put the appreciator, split it up, uh, as well as you can put a slide within a slide. Um, so if I make this like this, so make it a bit longer, and put that there. Sometimes uh, you need to you play around with it until you get a good effect. Now this might si sound quite random. We'll see how it sounds like. Yeah, so obviously it's not it's not anything polished or good sounding right there, but uh, you get the idea on how to use it. So basically, within your melody, you just go back to the slide feature, paste one, and if you don't want it, just go back and unclick it, and there you go, back to the normal notes. So that's how you use the uh, the slide feature within FL Studio. Now, I'll show you an example on how I've used it for my own melody. So over here, I have pattern 39 open, and my pattern 39 would sound like this. And when you put it together, the beat, it would sound like this. So, I mean, it's not anything amazing, but, you know, you get the idea and, and how to use the slide feature towards using it towards, you know, your own melody. So, thanks a lot for watching this video, and I hope it helped you out uh, with sliding notes and using the slide feature with an FL Studio.